Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a brand new Hyundai laptop. This one is a Hyundai, I believe is a HY by Hyundai. And I've been getting this one lately in the store for upgrades. This one is a HY Book Plus 13 inch. It's a Windows, it comes with an iCore 5, 8th generation, 256 56K, and 56GB SSD and all the good stuff on the box it does tell you iCore 5 8 gen has an 8 gigabyte lp ddr3 the lp stands for low power ddr3 and has a 256 gig windows 10 battery 4800 milliamp all right in this video i'm gonna show you guys uh, based on the request if you can upgrade the ram and uh, or you cannot but i'm just gonna tell you from now right now that you cannot upgrade the ram on this one and the reason is that the rams on this one they are soldered on the board if you guys are uh, not taking my words for it i'm gonna open it up i'm gonna show you guys physically where they are soldered on the board so because most people they keep arguing no you should in the windows it shows slot one out of two the window doesn't matter what it says. The window is always going to say it's slot of the RAM is slot one out of two use or two out of two use. Always going to say minimum at least two slot available. In this case, I don't know why Windows is not actually detecting the right configuration of the motherboard, but that's something for another topic. All right. So let's get into it. So let's open it up. The tools that I use to open it up is an iFixit tool set, a screwdriver set. And we're going to use Philips number uh, double zero. I use this uh, screwdriver set because they have a S2 class steel bits. That means the uh, bits, they don't go bad. They last you a very long time, unlike the other brands. That's why I like this uh, set. All right. Now what we're going to do here, we're going to remove all the screws that we see on the bottom cover, except these two screws on on this cover right here. So we're gonna remove all the screws and including the one in the middle. Just remember that the screws at the back here, these are the longest screws and the one in the middle and the sides and the front, these are all the smaller screw sets. So go ahead and remove all the screws. Also, I see only a few of my viewers are subscribing to my channel. If you guys wanna support my content and if you find my content helpful, I always take requests from my viewers uh, subscribers if you want to support me just click like button if you find obviously my videos helping and think about subscribing it really helps and motivates me to make more videos for you guys and take requests I really appreciate it so you guys can see I'm piling it up uh, the screws in two different piles the long pile the short ones and the long one right over there so that way I don't mismatch them I forgot one right over here. All right, once you removed all the screws, except the two on this cover, now what do you want to do? You want to grab yourself a guitar pick or grab the pro version of this set that they include your uh, opening tool. But I like using guitar pick, I'm used to it. What you want to do, you want to open up the laptop a little bit so you can access the bottom here. Now you want to stick the guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover, just like that, about two millimeters inward. And you just want to uh, twitch, rotate, just some wiggle it around. Slowly go to the sides, go to this side a little bit. Also, before we continue, I forgot to tell you on the back rubber covers here, you want to lift up this rubber cover, and there's a tiny screw right there too. I almost forgot about that. Remove these screws too. These are the longest screws, the same thing as the other ones. All right, now you can continue unhooking the top and the bottom cover. Just wiggle it around. So I'm putting it right there and then twisting it so I can release the bottom cover. Do the left and right side and the front.
believe that you have to remove this cover. Let me see if I'm actually mistaken or not. I'm just gonna remove the two screws for the bottom cover. I was actually right. You do need to remove the screws on the bottom cover. So remove the, the smallest cover and then the top cover will come out because it is grabbing from the bottom case here. It's not supporting it in here. There's another model that uh, you don't have to, but on this model, which is the HTLB 13 inch, this one, you do need to remove the bottom cover, a small gap. All right. Now down here, we can see the CPU right over here under this heat pipe and the RAMs are right over here. These are two RAM blocks that is being installed. You can get a different version that has more RAM. This one has an eight gig RAM, I believe. And there's a version with a 12 gig, I mean 16 gig, that means they have another two blocks installed right over here. These RAM blocks are is soldered on the board. You cannot just simply grab it and put it in there. You have to take it to a technician and they have to order the same exact model of these RAM chips right here. And they have to solder it right here. It's called reballing the RAM chips. And that's a delicate uh, move. And you can actually destroy the motherboard by doing it, damage this heat. CPU overheating it So pretty much in this one, I will say you get what you pay for So if you get the 8 gig version, you have the 8 gig version. If you got the 16 gig version That's what you let le uh, you left with So that answers all the questions that you guys be asking No, you cannot upgrade the RAM or remove the RAM dims on this one Even if the window says that you have two slots available, there is not even a single slot available here all right, now to go back board, just grab the bottom cover, put it straight on top, press down the corners, the back. Let's go ahead and put the bottom cover, slide the cover right there, put the screw, put the other screw. And put the long screws at the corner, far corner back. All right, and the short screws goes to the middle and towards the front end. I hope you like this video helpful and answered all your questions. And if you did like it, click that thumbs up button. And if you have any question or request, leave them in the comment area. And again, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video.